Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant. And for today's show, let's talk about Amazon Luna and how the company is starting to detail the games that will be arriving on the platform for the month of July. Now, if you were unaware, Amazon Luna, of course, is Amazon's cloud video game streaming platform that, much like Prime Video, allows you to stream video games to your Amazon devices like your Fire TV, Fire TV sticks, Android and iOS devices, along with your PCs and laptop. However, with Amazon Luna still technically being in beta, the service is only available in the United States. But you know, as we mentioned at the start of this video, despite being in beta, Amazon is still committed to bringing value to the service. And in the month of July, Luna will see four brand new games coming to the platform, including the likes of Bug Fables, the everlasting sapling from developer Moose Sprout Games, which is a role-playing game that takes heavy inspiration from Paper Mario and allows the player to control three characters who must use their unique abilities to unlock secrets, traverse the world, and solve various puzzles. Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling, released on July 1st and is available to play right now for all Luna Plus subscribers. Up next, let's talk about Valkyrie Chronicles 4 Complete Edition, which is an action RPG taking place at the end of the Second European War, where members of Squad E must lead Operation Northern Cross. Valkyrie Chronicles Chronicles 4 Complete Edition launched on Luna Plus on July 8th and includes the full game plus all bonus content, add-on missions, and unlockable rewards. Now the next game we need to talk about is one that I hold very close to my heart, and that is Saints Row the Third Remastered, which quite possibly the best way to describe this is Saints Row the Third is GTA on steroids, liquor, cocaine, and probably horse sedatives. Like Saints Row the Third is such a zany and violent video game that tells the story of these saints who must reassert their dominance and reclaim Stillwater from the rival game The Syndicate. Now, unfortunately, Amazon did not give us a release date as to when Saints Row the Third Remastered will arrive. However, I am waiting on bated breath. And the final game to arrive on Amazon Luna this month is Dirt 5, which is the latest chapter in the legendary off-road racing franchise featuring over 70 routes and 10 global locations. Dirt 5 also features a dynamic weather system and hazardous terrain players must conquer. So get ready to buckle up because Dirt 5 will be arriving on Amazon Luna on July 15th. And look, while four games doesn't really seem like a lot, I have to say it is nice to see that Amazon's continuing to expand the Luna Plus library with quality games and, and not just Filler. But it is also worth noting that we are nearly three months away from the one year anniversary of the beta launch for Amazon Luna. And it's going to be extremely interesting to see what moves the company makes in the meantime. And following the inclusion of these four games, Amazon Luna will have 92 games a part of their Luna Plus library. So will we see Luna hit 100 games included with the $5.99 subscription fee before the service turns one years old? Will Amazon expand their beta to other markets or will Luna allow users to buy games from Amazon.com and turn around and play them on Luna. These are all things that could revolutionize this platform and uh, I'm going to be paying very close attention to them. But this of course is the part of the show where I stop talking and instead let you tell me your thoughts. So, are you hyped about these games arriving on Amazon Luna? Is there another game that you wish to see added to Luna Plus? Or even better question, is there something that you're hoping to see Luna accomplish before their one year anniversary? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you wanna see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you wanna see your name there? I know I do.